Many Apex Legends players have said that they get a no servers found error when they try to play. If you are one of the unlucky players who are getting that error code when playing Apex Legends, here are the solutions that you should try. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, verify the game's server status. Check to see if any Apex Legends server problems have been reported before you try to fix the problem. Server downtime happens in Apex Legends just like it does in other popular online games, especially when server maintenance is being done. You can check server status by going to the Apex Legends status website, their official Twitter page, or a third-party site called Down Detector for real-time information. Next, run the game as an administrator. If there are no problems with the Apex Legends servers, try running the game as an administrator. Some games need special rights and permissions to run properly. Here's how to start the game as an administrator. Locate the Apex Legends executable file on your computer. Right-click the file and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab. Check the box labeled as run this program as an administrator. Click apply. Click OK to save the changes. Launch the game to inspect if the problem has been resolved. Next, check for network adapter drivers. You might not be able to connect to the game servers because your network adapters are old. Make sure to install updates on your network adapters when they come out to fix the problem. Right click start button. Select device manager from the list of options. Expand the folder network adapters. Right-click the installed network adapter and select Update Driver. Then select Search Automatically for Drivers. The system will scan and automatically install when updates are available. Wait for a moment until the process completes. Play Apex Legends to check if the issue has been fixed. Next, other Apex Legends players fix the problem by switching the data center instead of the one they usually use as it's likely that the issue with Apex Legends was caused by a problem with your desired game server. Try switching the game server. Next, check for Windows updates. It's possible that the error message in Apex Legends is caused by an old version of Windows. Install updates as soon as they come out to keep your computer safe from attacks and to keep software from becoming incompatible. Press the Start button. Select Settings. Select Update and Security. Click Windows Update found in the left pane. Select Check for updates found in the right pane. The system will check for updates and will automatically install if available. Restart your computer. Try to launch the game to verify if the no servers found error has been fixed in Apex Legends. Next, close other apps. If you have other programs running in the background that you don't need, closing them may also fix the no servers found error in Apex Legends. In addition to taking up a lot of bandwidth, these apps may interfere with the game and stop it from running properly. Use Task Manager to quickly shut down these apps that aren't being used. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del keys at the same time. Select Task Manager from the options. In the Task Manager window, highlight the application that is currently running but you are not using and select End Task Found at the bottom. Do the same step to the other applications you want to close. Relaunch Apex Legends and start playing the game to check if the problem has been addressed. Next, try a VPN. Using a VPN is another good way to fix the no servers found problem in Apex Legends. With a VPN, you can choose regions that weren't available with your current profile. Next, check for game updates. You might also be able to get rid of the no servers found problem by updating your Apex Legends game. Apex Legends, like all other online games, needs to be kept up to date so that known bugs and errors can be fixed. Lastly, try playing the game on a different launcher. If none of the earlier solutions have worked, try using a different game launcher instead of the ones you are currently using. This is because the error might only happen in those launchers. If you get the error when you play the game through Steam, try playing it through the Origin launcher. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.